What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10. And I know you guys have been waiting for this tutorial for a while, ever since Apple has came out with the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, let me go ahead and show you guys some of the new features that they have implemented and some things that they have moved around so you guys can be familiar with it. And I have also put down a video for you guys as well, uh, just so you guys can get the idea of how to manage your way around uh, the new workspace in Final Cut Pro 10. Because everything does look a little bit different. Everything is now flat. So that's the first thing. Uh, everything is flat. Everything looks very dark compared to the other Final Cut Pro 10 versions of Final Cut, pretty much. Personally, I like it. Um, it looks really nice. It doesn't, you know, it's not distracting from the actual video that you're trying to focus on so that's what I like now the thing I don't really like is the fact that they kind of moved around a lot of the things and it does take some time to get used to but I found my way around it and it's actually very easy to use it's actually easier to use than the other versions of Final Cut Pro 10 so the first thing of course is the layout everything looks different of course in a way some things are still in the same place but just look different when I was editing this video first of all everything was much faster and editing and rendering was about the same. As far as editing, I know it's much quicker than the previous version of Final Cut Pro 10, which is good. So um, I will show you guys this video in a little bit, but first of all, let me go ahead and show you guys where to find all of the effects and transitions because they have moved them around. So in order to find the transitions, first of all, or the effects, so right here is the same place for the uh, video and audio skimming. If you want to turn it on or off by pressing S on your keyboard, the next one we have is just the audio skimming. I always turn that off because it's really annoying just trying to go around your video. And you have all these other stuff here. Now, if you click this little button here, uh, this will just bring you the different kinds of layouts for the timeline, as you can see here. So you can change this if you wanted to. Uh, maybe you want that one or this one. It all depends on how many videos you're working with and how many layers of uh, text and audio and video you have so the more you have you might even want to change it to this so I'm just gonna leave it how it is and right here if you click this button this is where you will be able to find your effects it's really nice that they have it right next to each other uh, they have the effects and the transitions all by itself without going to you know looking around all over the place so now if you go on to basics everything will just be here and it, it looks it looks pretty much the same but you don't have the audio next to the effects and all of that stuff to confuse you, which is really nice, especially if you're trying to look for transitions really quickly. And uh, if you want to switch over to transitions, you just go right next to the effects uh, browser there. So we have the transitions. I have installed some custom ones. However, if you want to go and add some text or if you want to add music, you're going to have to go to the top left. And I believe they did that because for audio and pictures and audio, they want to closer to the library so you can find quicker files if you click on this you'll have itunes and sound effects of course i haven't downloaded the uh, pack for the sound effects yet but i will soon and then here is where you will find the titles and generators right here they now separated them so they have titles it's just more visually appealing than trying to look for it in the panel here and then clicking on the arrow and then it that just slows down a lot of your editing you know your editing time and everything like that so the next one we have of course is the generators uh the generators is just pretty much the same thing now it does look kind of weird because they're on the opposite sides but i think that's okay over here with this little kind of movie clip this is where you will find your projects all of your video and all of your media the same thing you can right click and import your media and stuff like that you guys can hide um the rejected or show all of the clips you can click this to change the view of course and here's where you can change the size and grouping it by whatever you want it. You can search uh, certain things there. Everything's the same. The only thing that really kind of got me confused was the middle part right here with this here. Uh, I'm not too, I mean, it's okay, but I wish they kind of kept it where it was. But I think they wanted to kind of save up some space in the middle to have more, uh, some more timeline space, if that makes sense. So they moved the time stamp I guess right below the video that you're working with which is pretty nice what they also have changed is the uh, the timing stuff so it used to be I think on the left or actually it used to be on the right side but now it's just kind of empty 
So now they just moved it right here next to these other video uh, tools. So you have this one right here, which is the transform tool. Basic stuff that was in the previous versions of Final Cut Pro 10. You have crop, distort. Uh, everything's just the same. It just looks more clean and more flat. So that's nice. And right here is just the same thing. Uh, I believe this one was not here. These two were not here. Uh, these two tools were on the right side right here. Uh, but you have match color, balance color. Here you can speed up the actual video. The other thing that you will notice is that you don't have when you're rendering something. So like let's say we shrink this right here. And we have to render this little bit. You don't know if it's rendering or not. Like it doesn't give you a preview like it used to right here. And that's all. It moved all the way to the top left right here. And once it says the check mark, or once you see the check mark, it means that your whole entire timeline has been rendered out, and you guys can play it back without any buffering or any of that stuff. And then, so if you're rendering out, or if you're exporting a video, and you want to see where you are with the analysis and everything, you're gonna to have to click this button right there. So the next thing we have, of course, is the view on the top. This has stayed the same. Right here is where you can actually hide the panel right here. Uh, which is pretty nice right here is where you can uh, show full media so you guys can find your files quicker that way and this is to hide the inspector so the inspector has now been moved to the top uh, right right here so it's kind of different but you have to get kind of used to it and then the export has been moved all the way to the top right instead of the bottom middle uh, so we're in the middle to the right so now it's to the top just click master file default and this is where you can render out your video and then it's gonna go ahead and load your video make sure that you render out your whole entire footage first and then here's where you can you know change all of your stuff everything here is just the same uh, just kinda looks a little bit different but let me go and show you guys the video in case you guys are wondering so I'm gonna go ahead and push play I mean, it's really simple, very simple edit that I did with all of the, the tools and everything. It did kind of take me a little bit longer, but the editing was much faster in my opinion. Uh, I know that when I was cutting the clips and everything, it was much quicker to do and render out than the previous version of Final Cut Pro 10, which is something that I really like and something that I want to use you know, on a daily basis and everything. So that comes in handy. And also, if you click this button right here, this will go ahead and hide the browser side uh, the sidebar so we'll just get rid of this and just show you this and if you go on to the top and you go to import media uh, everything here is just the same you know you have the same thing you can create optimized media so everything's just the same it just has a different look I know there's a whole bunch of other things that I haven't covered but I just covered some basic things that they have changed and moved around especially mainly the look and feel of Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, I have more videos for you guys this week and I will catch you guys next time. Until then, peace out, take care and enjoy your day.